Hi, this is Mobile Network Comparison, and today we've got a benchmark test using Antutu Benchmark, the latest version, to compare the performance of the Samsung Galaxy S2 and the Samsung Galaxy S3. So we're going to start the test pretty much simultaneously on both phones. I'm just going to run over some of the major differences between the S2 and its successor, the S3. Both of course run Android, but the S3 has got a slightly more updated version and it comes shipped with at least version 4.0.4 and even has up to 4.3 Jelly Bean. The handset is also quite a bit larger than the S2. It's about a centimetre taller, a little bit wider although thickness is about the same. The S2 comes in at 8.5 millimeters, whereas the S3 is about 8.6 millimeters. The weight is also a slight increase up from 116 grams to 133 grams for the Samsung Galaxy S3. Personally, we find that the S2 is a slightly sharper and more pleasing look to the eye, whereas the S3 has these round edges and kind of looks a bit more standard and unimaginative. Although at least it shakes off the similarity with the iPhone, which it pretty much cloned in the looks department. Of course, another major difference in the way they look is that the dark version of the S2 is black, whereas the S3 is this sort of pebbly blue colour. So what else is different about these two phones? Well, apart from the fact that the S3 is obviously a later version and much more powerful, it's also got a bigger battery with a capacity of 2100 milliamp hours compared to 1650 milliamp hours in the Samsung Galaxy S2. So even though it's got a bigger screen and a more powerful processor, it should actually last longer in real world tests. So far, the two phones are pretty much neck and neck getting through this benchmark, but we'll see the actual statistics and test performance at the end and see how they compare. What else can we say about the hardware? The screen size is obviously quite a bit different. The S3 has bumped up from 4.3 inches to 4.8 inches diagonal and it's also now got a 720p display. It looks a lot better, it's got a much higher pixel density at 306 ppi and even though it's not as good a display because it's got the pen tile display, it looks great and we're really happy to have the larger size as well to be honest. Cameras in both of the phones are more or less exactly the same. But of course, seeing as the S3 came out and was the flagship phone by Samsung, there's obviously a big difference in the performance, and this is what we're testing here in this benchmark. So instead of having a dual-core Cortex-A9 running at 1.2 gig, the S3 has got a 1.4 gig quad-core Cortex-A9 processor, and it's got the ARM Mali 400 MP4 GPU as well. In addition to that, it's got 2 gigs of RAM now. So the performance has been bumped up quite a lot and in fact Samsung claimed that the CPU performance should be twice as good in the S3 compared to the S2. And in fact it's just rushed through those graphical tests. We're now looking at the 3D graphics test on the S3 and it's hitting easily 18 frames per second at the moment. Comparing that to the S2 which is at about 10 or 11 frames per second at the same point in the test. And you can see how much smoother these 3D renders are going on the S3's large screen. In comparison, they're quite jerky on the S2. Let's actually look at the scores each one has got. So the Samsung Galaxy S2 is 10,909, much, much higher scores for the S3. Its total score is almost double that at 19,000 plus. So there you have it, no real surprise, but it's good to see what the actual real world differences are between the S2 and the S3 and how much of an improvement Samsung made to the hardware in upgrading their flagship Android handset. Thanks very much for watching, we've been Mobile Network Comparison. See you next time.